Good morning, everybody. I'm Melissa from the Central Library, and I'm back with another craft for you to do while you're stuck indoors. This time, we're going to be doing pine cone owls. So, what you're going to need are a pine cone and some felt. And um, this, I've already cut these out. Obviously, the pattern will be up on our website on Wednesday. So, you also need a glue gun and some stuffing. Now, if you don't have a hot glue gun, you can use Elmer's glue. Just be aware that the hold may not be as permanent as with the glue gun. Now for stuffing, um, I recommend that you use <clears throat> cotton balls. So just plain cotton balls. If for some reason you don't have any cotton balls that you want to use, you can use. You can use what um, is called polyester fiber fill stuffing. Okay, it will change the look of the owl, but not a lot. So first thing you want to do is take your pine cone, and you want these to be able to sit flat. That doesn't work obviously without take, doing a little surgery. So you're going to take your scissors and just. Snip like that. And now it should stand up relatively well. This one doesn't, but the ones I have here do. These are a few that I did earlier. And this one, as you can see, stands up perfectly. So now, first thing you want to do is take your cotton balls, and kind of pull them apart a little bit because you want these owls to have some fluff. They want to be fluffy. So now you just take it and stuff it right inside, like that. And you don't need the glue to hold it in. It'll stick just like that. So go ahead and stuff all your owl, and then when you get done, I'll come back and I'll show you the next step. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. And here's our finished little owl. As you can see, he's a lot fluffier than he was before. So now the next step to make him actually look like an owl instead of just a fluffy looking pine cone, we gotta glue some little felt pieces on. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut out, print out the pattern that we're gonna have up on our site. And you're gonna wanna cut out one face piece, two wings, one little eyebrow part, one beak, and then two of these larger rings, and then two of the smaller ones. Now you can do these in any color that you like, okay? Whatever felt you have on hand. So, first step, we're gonna take and glue these tiny little black ones here onto this outer eye. Just a tiny little dab of glue, and then we're stuck. Oops. Of course, hot glue always sticks to thing. There we go. So, next one. And glue. Okay. So now you're going to take these two. And actually, we're going to do this first, right? This, we're going to take the eyebrow piece, which is going to go right about there. So you want to run a line of glue here, like this. that and flip flip a little klutzy today there we go like that okay so there's the eyebrow and the little face part okay tiny little dab of glue on his beak right here there we go and now you want to put these eyes on There we go. So 
there's his dad. <laughs> Hot glue is such a pain. It sticks to everything. But there's his little face. So now you want to decide which side of your owl body looks like where his face would go. So you just kind of hold it up. I think I like that. So we're going to put some glue on the back of his face. And then just kind of hold him in place here. There we go. There we go. And oops, I'll put him on there. There he goes. There's his face. And then next, we're going to want to put his wings on. So let's see. So I like the wings facing this way, but it's up to you. You can do them any old which way that you like. There's one wing. There's your other wing. There we go. And there's your little pine cone owl.